Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is a new day. This is a new me. And I'm coming to you live from my studio this morning. I am so excited. Yesterday was a phenomenal day in my life and I'm just so grateful. I am so grateful for how God did so many wonderful things yesterday and coming to you live today. You can hear in the background of my music, Gary Oliver. I am so excited this morning. When I think of his goodness, you know, it just makes me want to dance. And I'm just so excited this morning. And when I look back over my life, because I know God is able to do all the things, just look at where he's brought you from, look at where he's taken you to, and I know he's able, and look, if you just think about it this morning, you will get excited about all the things God has done in your life, how he has kept you when you didn't know how you was going to make it, listen, and we got to set good practices in order, we got to set time aside to do, uh, uh, to do our meditations and our devotions, and you got to set time aside for yourself to really hone in on those gifts and those abilities that lies on the inside of you. I was once told it takes 21 days to create a habit, to make a change and to do something different, which brings me to today. If you create good habits, my title for this one today is develop good habits. And yesterday I talked about that. If you catch my post on Facebook, when I do my morning quotes, we talked about developing good habits yesterday. So listen, I just want to tap on it with you this morning because everybody may not have gotten that. Mm -hmm. So I want to come to you live this morning. Oh, I'm feeling so good today. I'm feeling great. This is a new day. Oh my God, I wish you felt what I feel this morning. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Why are you excited? And then I'm just excited just to be excited. Life is truly good. It is truly wonderful. It is phenomenally good for me this morning. So I wish I could pour into you what I'm feeling. It is so great to be alive today. I'm not concerned about what's going on. Listen, don't get it twisted. I don't, I'm not like an ostrich with the head stuck in the sand either. I am aware about what's going on in our country today. But let me tell you something. That is not where my source is. Government of this world is not my source. The God that I serve, the Heavenly Father, the creator of the universe, the creator of all that is, that's who my source is. That's who provides and make the universe turn around and make things change and line up. As long as I'm lined up with, with my God, the Father, the source, however you want to call it, however you want to put it, as long as I'm lined up with him and I'm seeking him and trusting him, most of it, as long as I believe and walk by faith faith and believe that I have everything that I say, everything that his word says that I can have, everything that I believe that he wants me to have, because how do I know he wants me to have it? Because he bring it to my mind. His thoughts are, are his ways are not my ways, but his thoughts are not my thoughts, but he gives me and through the reconditioning and uh, allowing him to come into my mind and condition my mind. That's why the word of God said, don't be not transformed, be not consumed. It uh, according to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You have to renew your mind to think the good thoughts, to think the positive things, to think what the word says. You have to cast down those vain imaginations and all those things that exalt itself against the power of God or to exalt itself above God. Listen, you got to change the way you're thinking. Listen, let me get back to what I'm talking about because look, I can get, I get real excited and sometimes I have to pull myself back in. So listen, we're talking about developing good habits. Good habits are hard to develop, but they are easy to live with. Once you develop them, you become, they can become easy to live with. Once you make that chain and you establish that change and you establish that habit, it's easy to live with. If you've been a smoker for 20 years, here we go. This is a prime example. If you smoke cigarettes for 10 years, that's a habit that you develop and you become accustomed to it. But when you try to break it, it's hard to break. Okay. Here we go. Bad habits are easy to develop, but they are hard to live with. That's what I just said. So listen, develop good habits. What are good habits? Good habits are good eating habits. You learn to eat clean, eat good. 
Take in good things in your body. Learn how to be kind to others. Do good things for others. Learn how. Develop the habit of being good to yourself. The habit of loving your family. The habit of being um, on time. Being punctual. Being um, trustworthy. The habit of being faithful. Being true. These are good habits. Being honest with yourself. That's a real good habit right there. Because if you. <laughs> and yeah, I know. I know. I caught you that time. Yeah. If you're honest with yourself. Then listen that's a good habit to be with and tell the truth the truth will always set you free that's what the word says so develop good habits today develop a habit today that you're going to say something good to somebody that you're gonna um you're gonna inspire somebody today develop a habit of getting up in the morning and taking time out just to do your meditations and your devotion i don't care if it's 10 minutes 15 minutes good morning sharon it's good to see you this morning if it's only five minutes. Take that time. Start from somewhere. You got to develop some good habits. Be kind and develop good habits today. We're talking about developing good habits. If it's old things, if it's some things that you want to break, you can break them. You just got to do the time. You just have to be consistent. You have to be vigilant and you have to be truthful to yourself. You have to be faithful to yourself. And listen, Develop good habits. Start somewhere. Start today. Take one minute. Take one step at a time. I guarantee if you take that first step and you say to yourself, I can do this. This don't have control over me, but I have control over it. So whatever it is, that bad habit that you have, maybe you like to gossip on all the time. Stop gossiping. Change that habit. Maybe you like to just sit around and watch people and then have something to find fault about. Change that habit. Change it to being a good part and changing the environment and making things good and putting positive input in it. Change that habit of coming to work every morning, hollering, you so tired. Oh, I don't know if I can take another thing. Change that habit, please. The world wants you to change that one right there because they tired of hearing you come to work every morning, crying the blues every morning. Come on, people. Not every morning. You should have a good day sometime. You should feel good about life sometime. There should be something good in your life sometime. Good morning, Barbara. It's good to see you this morning. Listen, we're talking about um, developing good habits. Listen, so if you go on your job today and somebody is murmuring and complaining, point out to them something they can feel good about and tell them they need to start making good habits and, and challenge them today. I'm challenging you today. Whatever you have that's a bad habit or if you don't have any habits, uh, I don't know who don't, but listen, if you don't, <laughs> I challenge you today to start a good habit. Think about something that you can do. If it's no more than getting up in the morning, start the habit soon as your heat, even before your feet hit the floor. Make the habit of saying, good morning, God. I love you. This is a wonderful day. I'm going to be victorious. Day, and I'm going to conquer this day. If you start that morning out with that habit, I guarantee you, you will set the motion of your day and you will begin to have a wonderful day. So listen, this is a new me and this is a new day. But before I go off the, um, the, the before I leave you this morning, I just want to thank everybody who took the time out yesterday to help me celebrate my daughter, my baby. I call her. She says, Mom, I'm a grown woman. I know she's a grown woman, but she will always be my baby. Listen, I just want to thank you so much. You don't know the love that you showed to her really touched my heart. And I really do appreciate your taking the time out to wish her and celebrate her day that God put her upon this earth, that he was, He sent her to me and let her come to fruition. She manifested in the natural. So I'm so grateful to you this morning. And I, again, I thank you for taking time out of your schedule just to celebrate her. And listen, I want to leave you on one note. Tonight at 10, at, at 10 o'clock, I'll be coming back to you live with the Millionaires Club. And that is my um, business partners with Wakaya Perfection. We do a 10 at 10 every night through the week and listen if you're not busy look at look out for us we're streaming live i will be back tonight because i'm deemed the one for fun friday
Friday. This is Fun Friday, so it's a fun day all day for me. I don't know about you, but listen, if you start learning how to have some fun in your life and learning how to release some of those tight stresses that you're dealing with, create new habits today. Love yourself because Gary Oliver says there's God will provide for you. That's my song. That's another one of my songs. So I got to go. I'm having a wonderful day thus far and I'm believing that the rest of my day is going to supersede where I am right now. So I'm excited for you. Have a wonderful day. Create new habits. Encourage someone. Challenge someone today to create a new habit. If you want to lose weight, Create the habit. Start drawing back from some things that you've been doing that's causing the weight to come on. And I guarantee you, you will see results. Even so, you can hit me up. I have some stuff for you that can help you with that. So just holler at a sister. And I love you. Have a wonderful day. This is the new me. And this is a new day coming to you live from my studio. So listen, create new habits today. I challenge you to create one new habit and let me know about it. Talk to me and let me know about it. Give me some feedback. I love you. Be blessed. Mwah.